Hey, it's me, Joy. It's Wednesday, September the 17th, I think, 2014. I have so many things to tell you today, and the internet's so fast here, I decided to just do a video log for you. This has been one of those days where the worst things have happened, and the best things have happened, <laughs> and the silliest things have happened. So I just have to tell you myself. First thing, I wake up this morning. I go to check my email. Now you know I have all these goofy little videos on YouTube. And I do these videos for the people that read my blog and people that sew and people that quilt. And of course it's completely up to anybody whether they want to watch it or not. <laughs> I don't even watch them myself after I make them usually. So anyway, remember when I got that new uh, cover stitch machine? Here it is right here. Actually this is cover stitch machine number two. You remember when I bought it, and I had to order it, and it came in a box, and I was real, real excited about it. And I got up in the morning, and I was playing with it, and I made a quick video. Now, it wasn't intended to be any kind of intense, immaculate work describing how the machine worked. It was just a silly little video I made for my readers. Well, woke up this morning, and when somebody comments to one of my videos... Um, it doesn't matter if it's a year old, two years old, or three years old. I get an email saying, you got a comment on such and such video from such and such person. And then it shows me what the comment is. So I wake up this morning, I'm drinking my coffee, I'm checking my email. I get this message concerning my cover stitch machine. You boring bitch. You are old, ugly, and stupid. Took you half the video to do shit and never did much. Nobody gives a blank what you're sitting on and only you can see what the blank you are doing. If it was legal, I would like to beat the blank right off your sorry ass. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just lovely? So that was the first thing I got this morning. Now there's only one person... I know, that would say something so ugly and so filthy to me. And so I'm assuming that's who this person is. But isn't it sad, I mean, isn't it really, really sad that somebody could not only think that, but actually put it in writing and post it. It's just, all I can do is feel sorry for that person and hope that someday they learn how to forgive, forget, um, get out of the past, go on with their life, and learn to be happy. I just, I feel really sorry for that person. Anyway, I deleted it on my email. I deleted it in my YouTube videos, and I'm tearing it up and throwing it away. Okay, so that's how my morning started. Now, as if that wasn't bad enough. <laughs> There's a lot of people that I follow their Facebook pages. And there's two of them that always have really wonderful Christian things. Uh, actually, three. There's one called Jerry Newton, uh, Ruth Wakefield, and uh, Becky. It's Ruth's sister, Becky Collins or something, I think her last name is. Anyway, I often copy and share the things they have on their Facebook pages because I just think they're encouraging and nice. So, I copied this the other day. Now, this is what it says. This is a quote from James Dobson. And it was just a little plaque with this saying on it. And if you look on my Facebook page, you can see it there. And it's kind of hot in here. I am going to pause this and run and turn some air conditioner on. Just hold on one second for me. <laughs> <laughs> 